Excel International Exams Consult presents Biology Lecture on Reflex and Voluntary Action, for SS3 class. Reflex action is an action that is not under your control. Its impulse is sent by the spinal cord. While voluntary action is an action that is under your control, and you are doing it within your conscious, the nervous system is a specialized system in animals. This system aids in the coordination of voluntary and involuntary actions, reflex actions in our body. The nervous system consists of nerve cells, neurons, they transmit messages in the form of electrical impulses through neurons and convey to our sense organs. Let us go into more detail on the neural system. Nervous system. Nervous coordination involves the participation of our sense organs, nerves, spinal cord, and brain. The changes around us are detected by our sense organs, because they have neurons at their tips. Neurons consist of dendrites, cell body, nucleus, and axon. The information detected by dendrites are converted into impulses and are passed on to cell body. Axon collects these impulses. At the nerve ending, electrical impulses are converted into chemicals and released. The chemicals will be passed to the next neuron through a gap called synapse. This is how one neuron transfers the messages to another neuron. Reflex action. Reflex action or reflex, is an involuntary action in response to a stimulus. This is a spontaneous action without thinking. For example, we adjust our eyes when exposed to bright light. Peripheral nervous system, PNS is a system of nerves, which connects central nervous system, CNS, includes brain, and spinal cord with other parts of the body. Reflex action is the result of coordination of spinal cord, and peripheral nervous system. This action does not involve the brain. The pathway in which impulses travel during the reflex action is called a reflex arc. Voluntary action. When an action is produced with the involvement of thoughts, they are called the voluntary action. It involves actions like walking, eating, jumping, and running. These actions are produced consciously. Both spinal cord and brain are involved, and these coordinate with PNS to generate necessary movements involuntary action. Actions which take place without consciousness or willingness of an individual are called the involuntary action. Digestion, heart beating, sneezing, etc. are a few examples of involuntary actions. Both involuntary and voluntary actions are controlled by same parts of the brain. Hindbrain and midbrain control the involuntary actions like salivation, vomiting, etc. All the body's voluntary actions are controlled by the motor cortex in the frontal lobe of the cerebrum. This lecture is powered and organized by Excel International Exams Consult.